What's going on you guys and welcome back to a different perspective if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button for your boy So I didn't really know what I was gonna do today for this channel So I decided you know what why not do another one of these compilation videos of men not sipping over women um, I went to the gym a little bit earlier, but I kind of cut the workout short because I forgot around one which is literally uh, hour and a half from now I was supposed to be working out with a friend of mine so I was like oh dang let me just go ahead and cut this workout short I gotta come back in here and work out again so we're gonna go ahead and just knock out this video and then I'm gonna go hit the gym immediately after I just left I just left but anyway y'all this is 21 TikTok men not sipping the return of men y'all ready I'm ready Let's go. Hey guys, quick story time. So basically my Domino's just hired a new 23 year old GM who's super Not only did he give all of the men and none of the women raises and promotions, but he's constantly belittling the women. And even admitted to me verbally that he gives women, quote, the easiest and least challenging responsibilities around the store. So what more do we want from him? When I complained to him about this, I was immediately taken off the schedule. And when I took it higher up, I was told that I didn't really understand the situation and that he would take care of it. Fast forward four days, I haven't heard back from him, and he won't return any of my calls, texts, or voicemails. So I decided to get legal counsel, and when I texted him that, he called me back immediately and told me I didn't know what I was talking about, that I was terminated over a minor dress code infraction previously. So I asked for proof of termination, and I haven't received any. I've now missed five days of income, and that's why I got a lawyer against Domino. Um, what? I don't know if that really sounded like men not sipping over women as much as it almost sounded like misogyny if her story is true. I don't know. Y'all leave y'all thoughts, comments, and opinions about that one down below. When your man says he's hungry, you bring him a shot and food. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> ooh, food. food. Hmm. You know, obviously that wasn't a uh, man not simping over his woman, but that was more of the woman just doing her duties to her man, you know, making sure he's taken care of in the time of need. And this time was need of some food. This video is for the little f***ing boys who keep egging our house. If you aren't them, keep scrolling. Kids been egging Listen them close, you little sh stains. You better not let me catch you out on these streets. These hands don't discriminate. Ages 9 to 99, I will rock your sh**. What? What? Why was that in here? That had nothing to do with women. There's some kids. They gone egg in this house. Oh. Listen. Summer is coming up. Don't let a $8 bikini from Sheen cost you $200,000 in child support. Hey, that's that's a factual thing right there. That's a factual thing. That's a smart man. <laughs> I don't think that's flammable. Well, no, it's snow. Well, what are you doing? I just want to melt it. Maggie, is any is everything okay with you? Well, I got dumped on Snapchat. <laughs> Asking the server for her number. That was just rude, unnecessary, and disrespectful. He tried to ask her for her number, and she's like, sorry, I have a boyfriend. And he's like, I don't care. Here, wash the dishes then. Like He just tried to insult her or something, telling her to do a job that's not her job. She's your server. She's not the dishwasher. What is happening in this video? I don't know what this is, y'all. I ain't seen none of this. I just clicked on it. Back by popular demand, my ex-wife is stalking me. I mean, bringing me the kids. Um, I have 20,000 followers on TikTok. 93% uh, are female. Am I a ladies' man now? Yes. Um, Definitely. What kind of hood rat stuff are you doing tonight? Picking up your children. Oh, right. What is going on, y'all? I'm confused. <laughs> what is this big... What is this compilation? What is this? <laughs> Turn it to this. Cut up. Yeah, that's a dude from Boy Meets World. Hey, hey, taking care of himself. Very important. Uh, 
shout out. Look at him. Look at look at them. Looking good, man. I remember when I was young and I used to see him. I was like, I I seen this dude get really really big, and I'm like. I used to think, I'm like, dude, man, I hope he get it together. I love his character on Boy Meets World. I hope his unhealthy lifestyle don't be an early demise for him. Look at him. Doing great. Doing great. Looking good. Looking shredded. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When you realize you change your sleep schedule to talk to them, um, you're... You're fascinated by whatever they talk about. You answer immediately when they text you. You're God. sick. <laughs> yes, lady, you have become a simp for that man. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. But it does. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I was too busy thinking about the previous clip, but then this one just processed hella slow and late in my head. Um, she's hanging out with him, doing what it is that he wants to do, and he's like, hey, look, it's too damn bad you don't want to be doing this. Um, this is him not sipping over his woman. But at the same time, when you like somebody, when, it, when it's mutual, let's say that when it's mutual, it's not sipping. Let's get that right. When it's a mutual thing, it's not sipping. When it's one-sided is when it's sipping. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. Living with a guy, check. This man be on a toilet drinking beer. <sighs> Seriously. Underwears and stuff everywhere. It's his birthday, so I prepared a little surprise for him. Treat to, treat him to his favorite food, and bought his wish list. Oh dang, she got a new a new iPhone. A new some kind of phone. Oh, it's a foldable phone and a wallet. She, hey, that's a nice looking phone. Hey, 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 nah, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's a woman showing her man that, hey, yeah, you might be able to buy me nice things, but I can also do the same for you. That's a, that's a fair and uh, equal exchange right there, I think. <laughs> I think that's fair and equal. But then you got some of these modern women out here all day. They will tell you, nope, I'm not buying him nothing. But he better buy me everything. He better buy me the world, but I ain't getting him jack. All right, so check this out here. She is cleaning her man's face. Well, cleaning his beard specifically. Cleaning it nice and clean. Hey, fellas, fellas, if you got yourself one of these, trust me, the ladies, <laughs> they going to want to clean it for you. They they love it when they get all nice and soapy. You know what I'm saying? They like, ooh, let me clean your beard. You know that shit. They will be honored. Nice, <laughs> nice. Hi guys, I decided to bring you guys along as I make my husband's lunch. So my husband works the night shift and he's a truck driver, so he only gets a short time to have his lunch, usually a 30 minute break. So. That being said, I made him a peanut butter and strawberry jam sandwich. Peanut butter jelly time. This was what he requested. Usually, we just go with a sandwich because it's as simple as it gets for him to eat quick. I love PB&J, but God, man, all that sugar, that bread turns into sugar. I'm going to put that in a reusable little Ziploc style bag. So as a fruit, I'm going to incorporate an apple. This is just green apple. I'm going to peel it and cut it with a little apple slicer. And then you'll see in a minute that I actually put this in a combination of two cups of water and two tablespoons of lemon juice. That way they don't actually turn brown. And I have tested this. It lasts for two days without turning brown and it is amazing. As that sits in there for five minutes in the water and lemon juice, I'm gonna add some Reese's peanut butter pretzels and some Annie's graham crackers. 
to his snack container. Then I'm going to get the apples out, actually dry them out, and put them in these containers from Dollar Tree. So up next is just packing the lunch bag. I'm Yo, I can't help but as I'm watching this, I'm thinking about the feminist. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, she's oppressed. <laughs> Look at her doing slave work for her, man. Yo, I, look, man, this woman look like she's ha <clears throat> happy to be doing this. She like she's enjoying doing this. Hell, she even went as far as recording the whole process and talking in a positive tone. If she dreaded this, she probably wouldn't be recording this right now. Adding everything in there and adding a bunch of snacks. So my husband does work. It, it, it feels good to make her man feel good, as it should. Up to 14 hours. So I add a bunch of snacks in there to get him through the night, I guess. He man, is, what is she about? Did she just scoop this peanut butter in the cup? It must be for the apple slices. This man is eating way too much peanut butter. He, I, bet, I bet he like me. Say, and then add him some peanut butter for the apples in case he wants it. Usually he doesn't use it, did oh. not use it with apples. That's good, that's good. He ain't overdoing it. But up next is his actual water cooler. So I'm gonna add nine bottles of water and it's two Celsius. And I'm gonna add a bunch of ice so it's nice and cold. Cool. See, that was, that was her husband's man cave before it got destroyed. I know. Uh oh I'll do it myself. Uh oh she's about to fix that thing up. Painting the walls, you know, taped it off real nice. That's fire. Got the little Tide Pod thingies. Gotta love that stuff. I got some of that. Yo, you could speed it up for me a bit. Come on now. <laughs> Yo, gotta show all of this. Wait, hold on. Do you still gotta put. Ain't that. What? Ain't the whole point of the little Tide Pod thing is so that you don't have to use freaking dishwash, I mean laundry detergent? Toss his clothes in there. Washing his clothes. He's a UPS driver, I saw that. They go to feminist again. I hear them. They're like, oh no, she's doing his laundry. He can't do his own laundry. <laughs> she thought I was a douchebag. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. And so I didn't reply. And then when he DM'd me about the homework, I was like, oh, he just wants me to do all his work. Like, hey, next. So I was going to try to catch her after class, but mm -hmm. she sprints it out of the class every time, which I don't blame you because the class sucked. And I knew you were going to try to talk to me and I was nervous. She was nervous. <laughs> so I texted her or DM'd her again, whatever. And I was like, don't normally do this, blah, 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 spit my game, whatever. And then <laughs> um, I walked her like back to her. I just started walking her back to her dorm after class. And hugging me. After oh, yeah. the first time we talked, and I was like, does I, he It like was a little me? side hug. We had some book bags on. It was rough. But All right, y'all. So, yeah, I see this big smile on my face. This is the big softy in me, man. I have always loved hearing um, how couples met. I always like, how did y'all meet? Like, tell me that story because it's, it's fascinating to me because it, and it also gives me an idea of how people interact out in the public and how they come together. Or was it via social media or was it via a dating app? Like, I always want to know. Yeah, uh, like middle school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gave a little side hug. But yeah, we just hit it off and had some good combos and then it just went from there pretty much. So it sounds as though he was persistent, but he didn't ship.
and it worked. He was a, he. I guess he was a good conversationalist. Your baby. Yeah. Spell you. Why are you? You forgot the D. There is no D in you. <laughs> Not right now, but there will be later. <laughs> hey, that's funny because he had to respond that in order for that joke to work. She's like, he's like, there's no D in you. That was a good one. That was a good one. This music's a bit weird. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. But um, she wrote on the window or the mirror that she loved him. She's making him some homemade um, chocolate. Wait, those, I know darn well. <laughs> Yo, I can't eat white folk food, man. <laughs> she pulled them cookies out way too soon, man. That junk was still cookie dough, bro. Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on. Did she put them back in there? Did they cook? I look a little bit darker, but no, it don't. It just still look light. See, look, she put them in like this, and they came out the same. <laughs> ah, she put them on the tray. I think she might have added a filter because them, them, I don't, them don't look right. Look, let me stop. <laughs> Ah, man. Oh, dang. That look all right, though. But still, I don't know. After them seeing them cookies, I don't know. I got to let him try it first. <laughs> hey. I'm clowning right now. Grow up with my... Okay, grow up with my husband and I love... All right, 2011. We've been together for a minute. Uh-oh. He popped that question 2012. They got married 2012. Okay. Okay. Did a lot of stuff in 2012. Goodness gracious. All right, here we go. 2013. Oh, we got pregnant in 2013. Not had a kid in 2014. Seemed like they went the traditional route. Seemed like they went. They got together. They were together. They they weren't together very very long before they decided. Hey, let's go ahead and make this a thing. Got married. All right, could we good in establishing this marriage? Cool. Now let's have a kid. They, they did it in the right order. Then they had another one two years later. Like, they, they, what boy and a girl? I mean, this is what this is what I think this was like the American dream when it came to a relationship, man. And you gotta love that they're keeping themselves in shape as well, they're keeping themselves in shape, not letting themselves go. Awesome. Look at them. And they, they get more attractive too as people the older they get. Is she pregnant again? Oh, she's about to have another one. Big gap. Big gap. She had the first two a bit closer together. The next one she's having a bit further out. See, that's what I feel like when it comes to people being in relationships should strive for. Get that relationship. Find out if you're too compatible. Get married. Have your kids and live that happy life, right? But anyway, I'm getting out of here. I got to go back to the gym. Y'all leave y'all thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. Y'all know what time it is. You like this video, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. As always, you can follow your boy on the gram and Twitter at all the kicks. The link to the original video will be down in the description box below. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. See you.